Unfortunately, symptoms of acute mycotoxicosis in ruminants are rare. These cows look perfectly healthy to me, but they may be consuming low levels of toxins. So it's very important that the environment they're in doesn't add any more stress. Increased stress increases the effects of mycotoxins and mycotoxins will attack the immune system, thus increasing the stress on the cow. So, have these cows got mycotoxins or have they not? It's difficult to tell at this stage. Generally speaking, the healthy rumen provides good protection against mycotoxins. However, if anything upsets that rumen, like acidosis caused by excessive sorting of the feed, then that protection is removed and the cows will start to suffer symptoms. Now the rumen protects against moulds like the fusarium moulds, but it offers no protection at all against penicillium moulds, the most common of the grass silage moulds. The penicillium moulds themselves produce antibacterial chemicals. These will destroy the functioning of the rumen in the first place. An apparently healthy cow, but has she got mycotoxicosis? at a subclinical level. How do we know? Well, maybe her production level is not quite where it could be. Maybe the butterfat's fallen slightly. Maybe her fertility's a tad difficult. All these things can be caused by a range of factors, but they could be mycotoxins. The way to find out is to feed a good mycotoxin absorbent, which is fast acting with a wide spectrum, and see if she responds. That's much more effective than analyses, blood tests, chemical tests on the, on the feed. Feed the absorbent, see if the cow responds. The cow will tell you if she has a problem.